Here we go. How many legs does an ant have? Six, eight, or ten? Um, I think, obviously, an ant's an insect, so I'm going to go for six. Six is the right answer. That is one of those stinker questions. Isn't it? You could easily have gone for eight. Well done. Daphne, what is the name of the group of galaxies to which the Milky Way belongs? District group, local group, or neighborhood group? <laughs> I like the idea of a neighborhood group, but it's a local group. Local group is the right answer. Back to you, Rodri. Which metal was historically produced by a technique known as puddling? Iron, zinc, or silver? Well, I don't think it's iron to start off with. Um, out of the other two, I'm going to go for zinc. Let's see if Daphne knows. Daphne? Iron. Iron is the right answer, Rodri. Oh, well. Bad luck. Daphne, to take the lead, what type of drug is streptomycin? Anti-inflammatory, antibiotic, or antihistamine? It's an antibiotic, and I believe it was produced to treat TB. Antibiotic is the right answer. You've taken the lead. So, Rodri, you've got to get this question right. Okay. Which parts of the body may be affected by pyelitis? Lungs, eyes, or kidneys? Um, could you spell pyelitis for me? Of course. P-Y-E-L-I-T-I-S. I've never heard of that before, so it's going to have to be a guess. I'm going to go for kidneys. Let's see if anyone on your team knows. Anybody? Don't have a clue. We don't know. No? Anyone here? Daphne? He's right. You're right, Rodri. Well done. Cool. Kidneys it is. Yes. So you've saved yourself. Let's see if uh, Daphne dispatches you now. What type of creature is the Australian thorny devil? Spider, lizard, or shark? This for the round, Daphne. I think it's a lizard. Lizard is the correct answer. You have taken the round on science. She does play very well. She did. Although you, you may well have seen her lose in the past, but <laughs> yeah. it doesn't happen that much. Rodri, bad luck. You won't be in the final. If you both come back to us, we will play the final round. So this is what we've been playing towards. It is time for the final round, which, as always, is general knowledge. But I'm afraid those of you who lost your head-to-heads won't be allowed to take part in this round. So Rodri, Dom and Dan from the Priory Professors and Chris from the Eggheads, would you please now leave the studio? Joey and Jimmy, you are playing to win the Priory Professor's £25,000. Daphne, Barry, Pat and Judith, you're playing for something that money can't buy, the Egghead's reputation. As usual, I will ask each team three questions in turn. This time the questions are all general knowledge. You can confer as well. So, Priory Professors, the question is, are your two brains better than the Egghead's four? And would you like to go first or second? I think we'll go first. Good luck to you both. Brothers as well, I should have said, Joey and Jimmy. OK. The term estuary English refers to a spoken variety of English that originated in the area around the estuary of which river? Seven, the Humber, or the Thames? Do you know this, Jim? I think it's the Thames. Um, what am I basing that on? I just think it is. <laughs> if you think I've it heard is. the term used, I live in London. I hope I'm right. Um, I think it's Thames, Jeremy. Thames is the correct answer. Well done. Hey, kids. In 2009, psychologists at a Philadelphia university published research into the reasons why which bird spends time standing on one leg when resting? Flamingo, penguin, or turkey? Flamingos are the only ones that stand on one leg. Flamingo, really? Turkeys have penguins. Is that two? On a turkey, does it? Penguins can stand on one leg. 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 Penguins OK, your second question. Joey and Jimmy, the Aztec god Quetzalcoatl is usually depicted as what? Feathered serpent, plumed horse, or horned boar? Guys, I'm going to spell it for you, OK? 
Q-U-E-T-Z-A-L-C-O-A-T-L. What does say? The only Aztec thing, yeah, deity see. of any sort I can think of involves the Simpsons. <laughs> and it's not any of those. Um, mm. Feathered serpent. Aztecs. Let's Aztecs see. would have had... There's only, you'd have thought there'd be serpents about. Yeah. Would there have been... Feathered serpent. Yeah, yes. um... The... I rule out plumed horse. You don't think it's a horse? No. I oh. uh, See, I like horses. <sighs> I'm tempted to go for the serpent just because... Just because the only sensible yeah. link is Aztec. Sand. Snake. That doesn't even make a lot of sense. So let's just go for the serpent. Yeah. Um, I think we're just going to go for feathered serpent. We really don't have a good idea. Feathered serpent is your answer. Yeah. OK. Yeah. You've got it right. Yes. Feathered serpent is the right answer. <laughs> Eggheads, in which city is the 1976 film Taxi Driver set? Los Angeles, New York or Chicago? Ooh, I would assume it's New York. I would assume it's New York. <laughs> And Scorsese is the, you know, the quintessential New York director. I'm pretty certain he drove a yellow taxi, which again would imply New, New York. York. Yeah, I think New, New York. York. Well, I'd suggest New York. OK. Um, we think it's New York. Your answer is New York. From memory, it is a yellow taxi, isn't it? And yes. it is New York. You're correct. So two each. It would have been so good if they got that wrong. Yeah, you're quite right. Yeah, this would one good. would be the one that the money rested on. As it is... I would suggest you need to get this right. Indeed. Strictly speaking, you're, you're not knocked out if you don't, but you know what they're like, and you want the £25,000. What type of entertainment is the Japanese bunraku? Is it puppet theatre, traditional dance, or magic? I'll, I'll spell it for you. B-U-N-R-A-K-U, all one word. Um... Puppet theatre. Bunraku, a traditional dance. Bunraku dance. Well, they do like to dance. Puppet theatre seems a bit... I mean, it could be any of them. We don't know, no, do we? We don't know. Mm. Um, if it was a magic, it'd be a specific kind of magic that separated it from... Yeah, true. ...normal magic. True, yeah. Should we just go for a traditional dance? Because it seems like the obvious one. You don't want to say, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> uh, no, do I, man. Soon. Jeremy, we don't know. We've tried to work it out, and we've not really got anywhere. So we're going to go down the middle and say a traditional dance. Traditional dance yeah. is your answer. Now, Barry has connections with Japan. Barry? It's puppet theatre. Puppet theatre. Bad luck. Which means, eggheads, that if you get this right, the contest is over and our brave challengers do not get the money. The high-level bridge is a Grade 1 listed road and rail bridge that directly connects which two places? Liverpool and Birkenhead, Newcastle and Gateshead, or Southend and Canvey Island? Where's the quest when you meet them? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably gesticulating at the back. I know this. I know this. Yeah. What is it? Like, I don't know anything about South End. And it's not Liverpool. No. Liverpool and Birkenhead's about a mile. You, can, you couldn't connect it to the bridge. Mm -hmm. It's one of about five bridges over the time connecting Newcastle okay. and Gateshead. Oh. There's okay. the Swing Bridge, there's the Classic Arch Bridge, there's the Red Ruth Bridge, yeah. and there's the High Level Bridge. In fact, the Arch Bridge may be the High Level Bridge. Yeah. Wow. So it's Newcastle and Gateshead. OK. <laughs> Pat is very convincing. He says it's Newcastle and Gateshead. You haven't deployed the Keppel technique here of going down the right. You've gone for Newcastle and Gateshead. It's the correct answer. Congratulations, eggheads. You've won.